So what's the game plan today? Um, well, game plan is to shoot a lot of fucking ammo and not worry about my score. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we have an awesome video for you. We drove across the country to Houston, Missouri to go to our very first Kalashnikov AK match. This is something that has been going on for years at this point. They do it twice a year. In a nutshell, Kalashnikov is three days of shooting. Friday, you have a team match over six stages. Saturday, you have a six-stage competition with rifle and pistol. Sunday, you have another six-stage competition with rifle and pistol. It's like you could shoot three matches in one weekend. It's a really cool idea. I've never seen anything like this done before. Big props to the Kalashnikov team for coming up with such a unique thing. We are joined by Tony Hetty of Kyber Customs and Third Pin Threads. He'll be shooting some machine guns with us this weekend. And of course, we also have Miss Richella Bella behind the camera and on the stick shooting both days. Without further ado, what we're going to do today is just kind of show you how the weekend went. I won't bore you with making you watch every single stage. I just want to give you the highlights and kind of give you the overall feel that I got from this event. I came away thinking that I never want to miss this event ever again. Hopefully this footage shows you why I feel that way. Don't mind me. No problem. So it's an airport. It's going to be where it is. So it's an airport. Fool me once. <laughs> In a world where most matches don't ring. So it's not as tight as I thought it was. I know. <laughs> My leggings are not this tight. <laughs> that was good though. Yeah. Get that mag. 
I respect that swag, man. I had to rock mine with you today. Yeah, we got three of them here. Oh, shit, nice. Oh, we're supposed to be those outside? <laughs> man. Also Chicago. Yeah. I, feel, I feel inadequate. I've only I've only brought a two cell. We gotta turn around. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. These guys got the full. Damn, dude. That Jeremy's is better. My brother copied me, but he improved his mind. Next level. Because I'm better than him. <laughs> oh my god. I even got an extra. He, he bought got one more mag pouch than I, I have bags. Now, I thought you were gonna run that. And that morning, Brilliant. he goes and swaps out his chest where he comes out. Shoot fast, eat ass. Um, pretty much uh, not worry about the score because of yesterday. Not uh, being able to do shit in the rain. And um, yeah, see how this fucking thing runs. <laughs> see if the KNS is like actually gonna cooperate today. Just close it if it doesn't. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am pretty kitted up today. <laughs> Got the old Soviet TTSKO uniform. It's actually a surplus one too. Badass. After waiting for some more rain, we finally got back to the shooting. This was an interesting stage. All of your targets are actually through car windows, so you can tell down there we have an SUV with open windows with targets that you can barely see. Thank goodness they were calling hits because it was really hard to tell. Okay, now you gotta run. Don't forget your bag. <laughs> Did I mention that every single mag has to be retained? So, whoopsie. So this was the only long range stage of Saturday. We had to shoot from 100 out to 300 yards and I missed many times and finished one second before par out. Good shooting. Yeah, good shooting. I think I heard I, the par time like a second after that last shot. Uh, second point two one. Nice. <laughs> How'd that feel? How was it up there? It was comfortable. I just can't see where I'm hitting. Mm -hmm. And because of my astigmatism, my dot is so blurry at that distance. Shout out to all you Johnnies out there that are like me and have astigmatisms in both eyes under low light. Red dots are not sharp at all. They bloom really bad. Iron sights are not much better. But we got it. A second before we time. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You having a good time today? Hey, by the way, this is Matt. Matt puts on this show. He's a super nice guy. I'm having a really good time, dude. Now it's my it. turn. Hey, man. Woo! You did it. it. Hey, man. <laughs> Paid in full, right? Thank you, brother. All right, thank you. There's somebody here to shoot machine guns at Kalashnikov. There's a toll. You gotta pay the tax man. Kalashnikov is a two-gun match all three days, so be prepared to come out and shoot pistol. In fact, this stage was all pistol, so check this out. <laughs> Bang. In case you guys were wondering, the pistol I'm using is an A-Rex Alpha. I've had this thing for a long time. I haven't done a full-length video on it, but I will soon. It's an awesome competition pistol. Rachel's using the same thing. We were just swapping it back and forth. <laughs> After dodging a lot of thunderstorms and rain delays, we finally made it to the last stage of the day. We really did not think we were going to get here, but we are. Uh, this was my most difficult stage of uh, Saturday. It's a bunch of lacrosse balls at various distances, but they're actually all really close. What this really tests is your knowledge of your height over 
or depending on if your iron's a red dot or whatever, shooting things up close that are small are very difficult, as you will see. To make things even worse, you could only have one rifle mag. Anything left standing had to be finished with pistol. Very difficult stage. And with that, day one is done. That was a very difficult match, man. And I think we came in uh, top 20, somewhere in there, out of 88 shooters on the first day. So I'm happy with that. We did not come in top three in my non-magnified optic division, which is totally fine. I bombed on a couple stages, but uh, I had a blast. So let's go ahead and get started on day two. Day two, like I said, is another six stages. Um, same areas, but everything's been slightly changed. We are not shooting the same layout per stage. I swapped divisions, now I am shooting an AK-74 on iron sights. So they've cranked up the difficulty for Sunday. Six more stages, let's go. Check out I'm running today. Ooh, M70? Oh, M90, wow, that's from a parts kit. Badass. Get the bayo load. I've only uh, I've only seen one other one. Never. All right, everybody, really quick. Sorry, we're running late. Uh, running late last night. Pushed us back to today. My apologies. Uh, the what? I can't control the weather. Yes, you can. Or the, or the clock, apparently. So um, anyway, we start off the day with Rachel driving the great van. She's going to take out some targets with her pistol from the inside. Climb up to the top, go prone, and shoot targets at distance. You go, girl! Very well done. Wow! Hell yeah! Damn, this van is crusty! I think someone's been living in this thing. There's a fan. Looks like there's been a little rave action going on here. Hey, settle down on that bus. Don't make me walk back there, Jacoby. Settle down on that bus. We're ready. Out of all the guns I saw at Kalashnikov, which of there were many, this uh, M90A built from a military Serbian slash Yugoslavian parts kit, under folder, 5.56, five, with grenade launching capability, with tunable gas, I just thought this was the coolest variant, and now I have to have one. Pistol! Alright, stay clear. Whoa! Whoa! I thought you were going for it. Uh, 
I think that's the best run of the weekend. Clay is up. Pull it a little faster than normal. Yeah, no, I'm going so fast right now. There you go. There you go. There you go. So we go from some would say a pretty easy stage to a very difficult stage, a pretty physically demanding stage. Everything here has to be shot from the prone. Every position you have to crawl to, your belly cannot leave the ground. If you have to reload, as you know, no mag can touch the ground. They all have to be retained. And we all had a hard time with this one, especially this fat kid right here talking about me. Rachel did just fine, but she doesn't do a whole lot of crawling. So uh, that's something that we're going to work on. But she got hits. Nice. Good job. Keep your muzzle down range. Nice. Nice. Well done. <laughs> She's exhausted. I think the entire squad was happy that stage was finally done, so we all took a break, broke out the RPK-74, and passed it around. <laughs> Very rarely does a carbine or even a two gun match require you to shoot out this far, but Kalashnikov is not an easy match. It is super fun, but definitely not easy. This stage is 600 yards, all from prone. Luckily, thank goodness, they gave us a spotter with some magnification. So if you were missing, he was really going to coach you on where to hold and make adjustments to try to walk your fire into the target. Without that, I definitely would have timed out. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's show a little bit of Rachel's run, and then we'll finish on my run. I am super happy with the results, but man, this was challenging. Get back. Come left one target. Come up half a target. Get back. Left two targets. Get back. Good job. Up two targets. Up one target. Unfortunately, like others on our squad, Rachel timed out, but I'm super proud of her, man. She's never walked her gun out to 500 yards, and she did it today under the clock with stress. I'm super proud of her. Just over the top. Get back. Get back! Get back! Alright, come down, one target, right, one 
target. You're low. Come up one target. Impact. Just off the right edge. Impact. Ninety-two eighty. <laughs> that was rough. Kind of a pinch myself moment, man. I never thought I could walk it out to six. Kudos to that spotter. He was really good at his job. Anyway, guys, we're almost to the end. Couple more stages. On to the award ceremony. We're almost through. Stand by. It was at this point the match was over, so all we had was a bunch of dudes and some machine guns and way too much ammo. It's time to die! Before you shoot it, what's your favorite crime? Nude and nude in public. You want to free base it? Goodness. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> This wouldn't be possible without my man coming in clutch with a uh, shell extractor. extractor. Anytime you shoot a really long match like this, you really do bond with your squad. And I have to say, all the guys that were on our squad for those two days, really happy to have met all of them. Happy to call them all my friends. Everyone was super welcoming. Everyone treated Rachel and Tony with a lot of respect. It was a really great group of people. In a nutshell, Kalashnikov as a whole is extremely welcoming. It feels very tight-knit, like even though there's about 100 people shooting this match, it seems like everyone knows each other. Even up to guys that come from Sentry Arms, to Evocative Strategic, and all of the other sponsors, it just seemed like everyone knew each other, regardless of why you were there. And I absolutely love that about this event, and that is why I don't think I'm ever gonna miss it again. I did get lucky and snagged second place on Sunday for Iron Sights. I have no clue how that happened, but it happened. I want to give a huge shout out to Matt and his team that put on Kalashnikov and that have done a really good job setting up these stages over three days, uh, <laughs> staring down thunderstorms when it really looked like it was going to shut us down Saturday. They pressed through, they stuck with it, and we all got to shoot every single stage that we came to shoot. Big props to those guys. I know what it's like to have bad weather when you're planning events. It is a nightmare situation. They got through it. They were professional, very hardworking. Big props to those guys. If you are on the fence about coming to a match like this, whether it be Red October, Kalashnikov, uh, Kalash Bash, whatever it is, don't avoid it because you feel like you're not a good shooter and you're worried about embarrassing yourself. I hear this all the time. This group of people right here, it doesn't matter. They will make you feel so welcome and they will be so happy that you drove across the country to come do something like this with your AK. It won't matter if you miss every single target. It's fun to be around these types of people if you are in this community. That is why you should make 
the choice to come out and do this. Get off the couch, get off AK files, come do something like this. Kalashnikov is a good one. I'm about to run out there. Yeah. <laughs> come on, buddy. Ready? Yeah. Kaboom. Did you rip up there? Did you do all the things? Really? Cigarette and everything? Yeah. 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 Serbian gun, right? Yeah. I'm going to the fucking moon with this thing. Oh, is this like the lawn dart game? <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of room to play. Where are you at in life when you're trying to. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Nice. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> but, yeah. but what exactly happened? <laughs> well, one of the guys, That's I don't right. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs>